first one is very simple. So what you need is ideally two sticks and uh, at least one ball. Okay, so what are you going to do? You're going to put one stick flat, flat on the floor, about one metre in length or one yard. Okay, and the, the aim is for 30 seconds, you're going to go two hands and you've got to go side to side ball as many times as you can. Okay, so it'll be one, two, three. If you see, I slightly rock my knees. Okay, the idea is you're not tapping here, you actually want to move it away from the defender a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to set a time for 30 seconds, then we're going to go. And time. Woo. I lost count. I'm going to add the score later. Okay, perfect. So you've had a go at two-handed and hopefully that's gone well. You've had a couple of goes, got your best score in. Now what we're going to do is have a go with just our left hand. So this is the one that does a lot of dribbling in the game, needs to be quite strong. Okay, so we do 30 seconds again, exactly the same thing. You'll find this really difficult and really tiring, but really fight through and see what you can see how you can get on, okay? So here we go. surface, either doing it on the carpet inside, maybe on your patio, maybe in the garden. If you've got some astro in your garden, that's great. Um, but have a go at that just with your left hand. So have a bit of rest, then have another go, see what your best score is going to be. The next one we're going to do a bit more foot movement along with dribbling on the floor. Again, we're going to count our score, see how many laps you can do at this. Okay, so what I've done, see, I've put some hockey balls, you can use pads, you can use cups, you can use jumpers, anything you need. Okay, so you've done the round the box facing forward, so now we're going to do the box but with an X shape. One slight tweak to the normal one. Okay, so you're going to go up and take 30 seconds. Okay, again round here, one touch. Okay, so that's the idea. Let's, let me give it a go, see how many rounds I can get. So we've done a load of stuff where we're keeping the ball on the floor. We're now going to get the ball in the air a little bit, see how our 3D skills are. So you need your stick back, okay? So place on the floor. This time, you're going to stand just to the back left of it. And the aim is to lift it, let it drop, and, and keep it up like this as much as you can. See, again, my weight is going side to side. Each time it's got to bounce on the floor. Every time it bounces, it counts for one. You're going to count your score. You're going to go 30 seconds again, okay? Let's go. So hopefully that went well with the little jinking. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on moving our feet, but also keeping the ball in the air. So all you're going to do, you're going to get the ball up in the air. You've got to keep it below your knees. So I don't want, in a game, bring it up here a little bit dangerous probably. So we're going to do 30 seconds, below your knees, hopping over the stick.
the time. So make sure you take some rest, have another two goes at that, get your best score written down. Final one for the session uh, is a little bit on a tackle. So I, I call this a lizard tongue tackle. So imagine the lizard's tongue comes out and grabs the bug. This is the same thing. So you're going to come out, your stick comes around the ball and hooks it back. I'll do one in real time. It comes out and you bring it back. Okay, you're out bring it back so we're going to have a go at that have a go at that just in front of you if you have not done it before and then we're going to make it into a little competition so you're going to start a ball wide left start a ball wide right okay 30 seconds you're going to come out you're going to grab it let it roll away come out get it let it roll away come out okay you can see how many lizard tongue how many bugs you can catch in 30 seconds okay so we're going to set this up on the other side time ready to go there we go let's go we've got it out to one and back to two because in a game you'd win it back. Okay, let me know how you get on, how many how many bugs you catch.